Hi, Charlie here. Your house is probably the most important place in your life. But there are many things that can damage or even destroy your home. Some people go to extreme lengths to protect what's theirs. And this normally comes with a lot of ridicule and mocking from their neighbors and friends. But when their crazy ideas actually work, it's them who end up having the last laugh. Hurricane Home in 2018, Florida was hit with Hurricane Michael. It was one of the worst hurricanes in US history. It wiped out thousands of houses and caused $25 billion of damage. But among the wreckage, there was one house that stood out from the rest. Every other beachfront home was destroyed except this one. The house is called the Hurricane Home or the King House. It was made by Russell King and Dr. LeBron Lackey. Its entire design is not to look cool or trendy on the beach, but instead to withstand any hurricane that comes at it. Hurricane Michael's winds were 155 miles an hour, but amazingly it caused no damage to this house. It seems these guys really did make the first invincible house. When they first built the house, they were ridiculed by the government and also locals. The house was very different to other homes in the area. It did not look as trendy and many neighbors did not like this. Also, they did not follow Florida's very strict building codes. But all of their neighbors who laughed at them had their homes destroyed in the hurricane. It may not look as trendy as many other beach houses, but at least it's still standing. The house is suspended on gigantic 40 feet concrete pilings. The walls are also made of one foot thick concrete. The roof is also attached with over 3,000 hurricane clips. Amazingly, this house not only protected itself, but it also saved all the houses behind it. Most of the other houses were destroyed in a domino-like effect, but because of the hurricane home, all of the homes behind it were safe too. I hope the neighbors who mocked this house realized that they were wrong the entire time. Who knows, maybe after the success of this one, hurricane homes will become more popular. Too High House Kids and adults alike love tree houses, but some adults would never live in a tree house. They'd be too scared about what other people think, and they'd be worried that their friends and neighbors could make fun of them. But one man who does not care what anyone else thinks is Tiranobu Fujimori. At the age of 65, he decided to create the tree house of his dreams. Not just as a place to hang out, but a home to live in. He built his house on top of two chestnut trees. Many people around him, including friends and family, thought he'd gone insane. The house has been nicknamed the Too High House. It is made of 100% natural materials. The great thing about this house is it can't be damaged by any natural disasters. It may not look that stable, but it is. The local area is sometimes prone to earthquakes. But because the house is suspended on two century-old trees, it actually makes it very secure. Unlike most houses that are built on the ground, this house is almost rooted into the ground. So no matter what nature throws at this house, it will always be secure. It may be kind of small, but Japanese houses are known for being very modest. Inside it looks very cozy. And Tiranobu says he loves living in the house. Sprinkler Success in 2017, a massive wildfire hit Kansas, USA. This was one of the biggest fires in Kansas history. Many people decided to cut their losses and simply evacuate the area. They thought their homes were likely doomed and there was no way they would survive if they stayed. That was except for one homeowner named Danielle Tajman. Danielle had the idea to turn on her sprinklers during the wildfire. Many people laughed at her and said this will simply never work. After all, the wildfires were very serious. And you may not think that a backyard sprinkler system would be enough to ward off the flames of this wildfire. Eventually, Danielle did evacuate to make sure her and her family were safe. But she did not turn off her sprinklers. She left them on just in case they would do something to prevent some fire damage. Danielle and her family went to a safe place far away from the fires. Later that day, they were watching the news of the fires when Danielle saw something that made her jaw drop. Broadcast on the news was massive wildfire damage. But amongst all of the burnt grass was one patch of green, and that was Danielle's house. Everyone who laughed at Danielle and told her the sprinklers would not help at all were wrong. 
When Danielle saw her intact house on the news, she was stunned. The photo was taken from a Kansas Army National Guard Black Hawk helicopter. These helicopters had dumped more than 33 gallons of water on the fire. But they did not need to dump any water on Danielle's house, as the sprinklers did all the work for them. If you're enjoying this video, then why not subscribe and press the bell too? It really does help me out. Underground Home Sometimes families have big fallings out, and this can lead to the kids running away from home. That is kind of what happened in this situation, but instead of simply running away from home, this kid decided to build his own house underground. When Andre Canto was 14, him and his parents had a big argument. He was kicked out of his parents' house in Spain, so that's when he took his grandfather's pickaxe and began to dig. He soon had the idea to create a space for himself to live in. It took him 14 hours a week for several years. He eventually used a pulley system to pull large rocks out of the cave. Eventually he built two rooms in the underground home. He installed a heating system, a music system, and Wi-Fi too. It only took him 50 rocks to build. There are sometimes issues with insects and flooding, but it meant he had his own space away from his parents. When he first started this project, his parents laughed and said he would never be able to finish it. But he proved them wrong and built his very own home with very little resources. How many 14 year olds do you know who have their own house that they built by themselves? Lift House In 2010, a controversial new house began to be built in Dhaka City, Bangladesh. It was controversial because it was right on the riverbanks of this flooding city. Everyone was wondering why the owner was building a house in a place guaranteed to flood. Many laughed and said the guy must be crazy or stupid. And they had a point, many houses in the area had already flooded, so why would you build a new one in the same spot? But when locals realised how the house was being built, their laughter stopped. The house was named the Lift House. On both sides were two bamboo structures. These were put into a hollow cement base, and the interior was filled with over 8,000 empty plastic bottles. Of course, plastic bottles float. And although it seems crazy, 8,000 plastic bottles is enough to float a house. The builders made no flood defences at all. They simply sat back and wait for the riverbanks to burst. When this happens, the plastic bottles float up, and this pushes the bamboo parts of the house upwards. Hence the name, the lift house. The house stays totally dry up to a height of 12 feet. When the waters then recede, the structures go back down. The best part about this house is it's very cheap to make. And it's also good for the environment too. The bamboo and bricks are also very cheap. This means the lift house is a great design for low income people who don't want to live in flooded houses. Cow House in 2010, a Spanish building company named Ensemble was coming up with a new house idea. That's when one of their designers had an idea to build a house with the help of cows. Many other building companies laughed at the idea, but Ensemble did it anyway. They excavated a piece of land and filled it with straw. They then covered it with concrete and soil. They then left this to cure for several years, which turned it into a boulder. When they cracked open their boulder, inside was a massive amount of compacted hay. Instead of simply removing it like normal, they brought in Paulina. For more than one year, Paulina the cow ate all of the hay. With the boulder now cleared out, Ensemble transformed it into a very trendy luxury house. It had an amazing view of the Spanish coast, and it's now the perfect cozy home. Ensemble wanted to do something very different, and show that nature can be used in design. At first, design companies laughed, but Ensemble were given big credits for doing something so creative, and now the house is in very high demand. Foil vs Fire in recent years, California has been hit by many wildfires. These have been devastating and wipe out many homes, costing billions in damages. 
In 2018 alone, California wildfires caused $400 billion of damage. Probably one of the worst places to live during a wildfire is in an old wooden cabin in the forest. But that was the case for five historic cabins in 2014. Thankfully though, the Sierra National Fire Service had a creative idea. They thought outside the box and wrapped the cabins in foil. There were many naysayers who said this would simply never work. The fire had already burned through 13,700 acres of forest, and it was rapidly approaching the cabins. But amazingly, the foil radiated the heat away from the cabins. Unbelievably, this caused the historic cabins to survive. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most amazing house on this list. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.